Hello, Anika with Tenteru here. We have an exciting new update to the events module admin interface slated to launch on December 27th, 2020. And since several of our councils have events happening after the launch and before our first webinars on Tuesday the 29th, I am recording a little preview of the new system, focusing on the elements of the interface you will need to manage your events for check-in and data entry. First, you'll launch the events admin interface by clicking the events button in the admin menu on the left. This will bring up the event types lookup where you can scroll through the list or search. And this list includes all event types with upcoming events sorted to the top. Click on the event type you wish to manage. From here, you'll have the new na admin navigation in this blue bar at the top. Everything that almost everything that we're going to work with today is under the events section. So this is where we'll start. We'll have more details on all of this in the full webinars in December and January. Here you'll see your full list of, of events that are coming up in the future. Click on one of these to launch the editor and dashboard. The dashboard will show you a quick overview of the numbers and the balance due for the event. The next card has a summary of all of your settings. This is the same as what's shown in the, to the group in the user interface. And the next section is the toolbox. The toolbox is where you'll do most of your management. First off, for any events that use numbers, you'll have a recalculate pricing button. This used to be called increase pricing and the function is the same. We just renamed it for clarity. Generate invoices is the same function as in the legacy interface. Message center will take you out of the event and into the message center for the event type. From here, you can click on any, any message to edit it. You can create a new message or you can send a message. Now there's two ways to send a message. One is to click on the three dot menu and click on send message, the other is to edit or click on a message to edit and use the send message button in the top right. From here, you will now select the event you wish to send this message to. So you can send to one week, go back in and send to another and not have to jump between events. To go back to your event for management, we're gonna go to the events section and click on the event again. This brings us back to the dashboard and in the toolbox, the next option is to enter class requirements completed. If you're teaching merit badges at your uh, event, you can click on here to see your full class schedule. Anything that is for individuals will allow you to enter requirements completed. Click on the class and it will bring up the requirements completed modal where you can do uh, your instructor class name, your mass update and your individual management. Please note that this will automatically fill out the blue card reports for all Scouts BSA registrants. Cub Scouts are not eligible to earn merit badges and will not get a blue card from the system. If you have Cub Scouts registered for a Scouts BSA event, you'll need to change them from a Cub Scout to a Scouts BSA registrant and then they will have access to blue card reports. The blue card reports can be pulled either from the admin reports section or the group reports in the user interface. The next option in the toolbox is the export instructor class roster. This will let you choose a specific class to export an instructor class roster. If you want to pull rosters for all of your classes, scroll down to the reports section, select instructor class roster, and scroll down to the bottom of this box to click generate, and that will download your report. All of these reports are the same as in the legacy interface. They're just in a different order. And like with the instructor class roster, you will select any of these reports that you want to generate and use the button down below to pull your reports. We advise as a best practice to pull your reports before the event. So if your event starts on the 27th, I'd pull your reports before then. Um, if it starts after the 27th, you have the choice to pull them from the legacy interface or come here in the new interface to generate your reports for your event. The next section is campsites. This will not appear for every event. 
Campsites are for events that use numbers and have a location with campsites set up. If you're not use, if you have a names only event or your location doesn't have campsites, you will not have anything further on this section. If you do have campsites and are using it for your event, this will give you a summary of who, uh, the number of people you have in each campsite, and you can use the export button to download a report. The next management tools are in the select client modal. And most of you will be familiar with this section because this is where you can look up your groups. You also now have two options for your event management, registrations and participants. Under registrations, you will select your event type and either all events or a specific event and the year. You'll notice that this Scouts BSA resident summer camp event type doesn't have anything right now because it's select for 2020 and we started this for 2021. So if you're not seeing anything, try a different year and you'll probably find what you need. You can then also select from specific weeks here and clicking on one of these groups will open that registration in the group where you can apply payments or edit the registration. The next section is participants. And this participants will also let you select by the event type and the year. So we'll go to 2021 again. And this gives us a full list of all named participants for this event. Clicking on one of these names will launch that named participants registration in the group where you can then edit or cancel the registration, change classes, et cetera. Clicking back will bring you back to the group registration where you can also uh, manage making payments or uh, other editing for that group. All right, that was a quick look at the event management tools you might need in a pinch before our full webinars. I highly encourage you to attend one of the training sessions to see the full system live and ask questions of our team. If you cannot make it to one of our three webinars, we will also be sending a recording of the training after December 29th to all of our councils and any individuals who RSVP to the webinars. Please reach out if you have questions that were not covered in this preview that you will need answers to prior to December 29th. Otherwise, we'll see you there. Thanks for watching and a happy holidays from Tentaroo to you.